fellow crafters and welcome back to Inspiration for Cards. Today I've been writing my Christmas cards and I noticed I was one short. So I need a quick and easy Christmas card. So that's what we're going to do. Welcome to my channel and let's dive in and make this card because uh, as I said, it's going to be quick and easy. Uh, inspiration for this card came from, I'm sorry, I'm trying to find the right button to switch cameras. There we go. Uh, I got the inspiration from this card from Simon Hurley and the technique he showed was so easy. I thought, gotta do it, gotta try it. So I've got a piece of uh, sort of post-it tape here, really low tech stuff. So I'm gonna tear that off, throw it on the floor <laughs> and sort of mask off part of my card, like so. so this is going to give me a nice, clean, crisp line. I'm going to use this stamp set, which is the CS155 by Elizabeth Craft Designs from the Art Journal Collection. I'm going to use that. I'm going to start with this beautiful new Ponchetta. Now, this is a brand new stamp um, and it is a bit sticky. So there are different ways how you can condition this. I, uh, there were a lot of questions about that the other day, so I will just explain. What I do is with my finger, I go over that, just rub that a bit. That will help to condition it, just like so. And then it's still a bit sticky, okay. I will take my mono sand eraser and I will just lightly go over that. Just taking off that sticky image, which all the stamps have. Um, when they come out of the manufacturing or out of the factory. It's a manufacturing process. Um, so just very lightly with an eraser. There are special erasers on the market. I've got those back there somewhere, uh, but I didn't want to go and get them. But this works just as well. Okay, that is that. Then I will just spray them with water and clean it off. So now it is clean and ready to go. Now normally I stamp using VersaFine. Um, and what I will do now is I will just take, no, this is not black. Where did my black go? Oh, there it is. I will get my VersaFine out in black and ink up my stamp with that. Ink it up. And I will just stamp it off on a piece of scrap paper. Okay. There you go. And it already stamps really well. So I will do that again. And again. And again. And it will now stamp really nice and crisp. No worries. Um, right. I'm going to start with a dark red called Game Over. And I'm going to ink that up. So I'm going to ink up my Ponchetta using Simon Hurley's dye ink. Um, now, to be honest, normally I don't stamp with dye inks, um, but these inks stamp pretty well, I must say. I'm not mad at them. So that is that. And I'm going to stamp that in the middle of my card. And part is going to overlap that tape. And I'm going to commit to that. Giving it good pressure because I want it to be sharp there. There we go. Beautiful. You see? Nice and crisp. So, oh. so that's the first one done. Just clean that off and put it back. It's just as simple as one, two, three. Then I've got this beautiful holly one that I'm taking out. Put that on here and I'm going to use my fake plant, which is a darker green. ink up my stamp and coming in from here 
I will just put that right there. Very simple. There you go. Okay, this one is a different green, the pine needles. Ink it up and come in from there and stamp. Nice. And I want to use the darker green for that. So let me close this up. Well, let's bring in another green, shall we? I've got uh, Overzealous here. I love the names he gave his ink. And I will just put that right here to fill in a bit more of that space. Beautiful. I just want a little bit here. And I will bring in some red again. I will bring in Love Struck now, which is a lighter red. And put that just clean up my block because I don't want to. Right there. Beautiful. Okay, next, what you need to do, well, you don't need to do anything, but what I do is I'm going to take my red brush. This is the wrong one. I'm going to take my red brush, ink that up with my Game Over, which is the darkest color that I use, the darkest red. And I'm just going to come in like this and that will even intensify that edge more that sharp edge there also come in with my green the darkest green first uh, no the lightest green first David because otherwise it will not work out that well And I will do the same here. And then I will come in with a darker ink and do this side. Like so. And take off this tape and look at that you see that sharp and crisp line there love it then I've got um, these thingies which I have foiled um, a while ago did it in one go and I'm just gonna put that there put them on a bit of tape because so I'm gonna put that one right there there we go and then I'm gonna step it up a tiny bit more I've got this wink of Stella this is called pink but I will just use that to color in these berries now um, this is quite intense stuff so I'm gonna wipe it off on a scrap piece of paper first and then I'm gonna color in these dots now these are uh, water reactive inks that are underneath um, so it will change the color a bit you will activate that ink but then again these are quite pigmented uh, so yeah it will make my berries red give them a hint of red anyway and I don't know if you can see but you see the shine I love that and there we have it look at the shine of the berries 
love them. So this is the final card. I'm on a roll, so I'm going to quickly do another one um, using some different stems, but I really like the effect, so bear with me. For that, I'm going to be using this beautiful set, which is also very Christmassy. So um, I've got an A6 format card here, which is the Dutch version of a, a US A2, uh, slightly bigger, different proportions. So I've got the same tape I've used before, which is sort of the post-it tape, and I'm going to use fake plant to ink up my stamp. And this is quite a detailed stamp, so I will have to ink up my stamp fairly well. And put this on like so. Now this is quite a big stamp, so I'll have to give it some time and give it some pressure to really let the ink sink into let the ink sink into the card fairly beautiful there we go i just this is beautiful okay and then i think what i'm going to do is i'm going to use this one Uh, and I'm going to use green again. So I'm going to stick to the same color of green this time. And stamp. There we go. Not sure this set is still for sale, but it's a beautiful, beautiful set. Um, if it's still available, it is actually on sale with a discount now. So there are links in the description box and you get 10% extra discount as well. So they are a bargain now. That goes for all the beautiful blooms. That's what the collection is called. I love them. Just going to come in just a bit at the corner there. Perfect. Okay, that's all the stamping done. So this one is even simpler than the other one was. And I'm just coming in like I did with the other one to sharpen that edge. And in this case, I can use, I can do it all in one go. I will actually come in from the side here as well, and here as well, just to you know what I'll go around. Just some ideas that you get while playing, all right? Give this a hazel green. And I'm going to pull this off. Look at that. This is so much fun. Right, have another play with this. Shake it up. Test it out. And I'm going to fill in these berries and that will give me my pop of red on this card. Beautiful, right? Simple and clean. Right, deck the holes. Put some foam behind that, peel off the backing, and position this where I want it. And there is another card done. So here is the finished result of these two cards. Love the technique, L simple, clean, uh, very quick. So I've got two more cards to send out because I'm pretty sure I'm missing more. So fun way of making Christmas cards, quickly, easy, uh, but yeah, beautiful result. 
that was it for today guys thank you for watching again if you like this please give this video a thumbs up and consider to subscribe to my channel that would really make my day uh, thank you for watching this one and i would love to see you for the next one thank you very much bye